everyone, it's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft, and today's video is my September layout chair. It feels really weird to say that these are all from September because I'm filming this. We have just gotten into, oh look, I found a stray sequin. We have just gotten into October. And um, I actually, <laughs> I made, started this layout last night on September 30th, and then I finished it this morning. So I'm going to count it as September, right? Because the bulk of it was done. Um, so let me start with this because, um, yeah, I was using the Paper Issues May kit that I purchased um, for this month. And these are photos um, from our vacation, our summer vacation. If you didn't know, there's a place called Metropolis, Illinois, and it's the home of Superman. They have Superman statues and a gift shop and not really a whole lot else. <laughs> it's a very small little town, um, but it's a big tourist destination if you're a Superman fan or if you just want to pretend like you are and um, get some fun photos, get some fun photo ops. So um, I think everything on here is from the, aside from these letters every and the sequins, no, just the letters. Everything else is from the Paper Issues May Kit. Um, and I use the, the Paige Evans bird as part of the title. It's a bird. It's a plane. And then I was, I was still going to use these letters um, to do a metropolis, but I ran out of S's. So I had to do it in a different uh, font, but that's okay. And this was actually inspired by um, one of these scrap timber sketches. I think it was day six. Um, so I might still put this in that Facebook group um, and, you know, enter it for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, so that was fun. And then I finished up my, um, the September Best of Both Worlds kit. I basically killed that kit by making cards. Who am I? I made cards. I have a, a stash of homemade cards, okay? Um, and I like to do it occasionally. I like to send homemade birthday cards or anniversary cards, um, or even just have something that I can write a note in to someone. So um, I think a lot of these could just be general. I had some, I basically started with, what was the first one that I did? I think it was this one. So I had these um, die cut pieces that were um, Cardabella, I think. And I think I've said this before. Cardabella and I, I like their stuff, but it's also not really my style. But I, I wanted to use these sentiments because I knew I wasn't going to use them on a layout. I just don't, I didn't have anything that worked. But I paired them up with some of the Paige Evans stuff and some of the sequins and little uh, fun embellishments that were in the, the May Paper Issues kit to create a little card. Now, this one is kind of wonky um, because I wasn't measuring properly. Um, but the cardstock is from the Chamel September Best of Both Worlds kit. So this is a Simple Stories cardstock. It's solid on one side and polka dot on the other. I'll probably end up just cutting this part off and then gluing this to like the front of a um, an actual card or, you know, just making my own from another piece of cardstock from my stash. Same thing with this. This is just white cardstock that was from my stash. This is a four by six card. And I just layered up some, you know, again, the Paige Evans. That was the Cardabella. These are American crafts. And I used a bunch of um, branding strips. I just cut them down to create this striped background on the white cardstock. Here's another one, the Cardabella. I popped that up on foam dots to give it some dimension, added a butterfly, added a flower. Um, again, other like part of the branding strip, other pieces from my stash. That's a four by six card. This one's a little bit smaller. I did a hand doodled border. I've got the flower peeping out at the back. This is obviously going to be a birthday card. That's popped up on foam, as is the little ladybug. Um, and then it's blank inside. I'll just, you know, do whatever. This could be just a general card. This is actually from the Vicky Booten Color Study Collection. Um, it was a cut apart, and I there was actually a bottom piece. So it was a three by four, but I cut that off and used it on something else. But I still had this, and I really liked it because it's just a great small little card just to write a little note to someone, say, hey, how are you? If I'm sending them something, just be like, hey. Um, popped up the little ladybug again, added a flower. Easy peasy. And then last one, this is the Earth Laughs in Flowers. Um, got the green cardstock from my stash, my stash drawer. Thank you to my mother for uh, hoarding all of those big pieces of cardstock. Added some sequins, popped up the little bug, added a flower. You know, could use it, could use this card for anything. So that's one, two, three, four, five cards. No, six, six cards. Six cards that I made using all the leftovers from my September Best of Both Worlds kit. Okay, so then we got more layouts. 
I got a lot of layouts this month, you guys. This one I was doing, um, again, as a way to use up pieces from that Best of Both Worlds kit. So you can see I got a bunch of paper strips going behind here. I think this was also based on day five of the Scrap Timber 30 Days of Sketches Challenge over uh, the Christie's Beautiful Life was hosting. I did my own background. I was trying to get some of the same colors in here. Obviously, the green and that, uh, that um, like, magenta color. It was a little too dark, but obviously, once it's down, you can't, you can't erase it um and it kind of made it a little kind of muddied it up a little bit with the yellow and the green but I'm gonna be okay with that um so I got these two photos together and then this is a three by four card that's popped up um I called it pineapple dream because she's wearing her pineapple pajamas they're just random photos that didn't make it into the um June pocket page monthly pocket page but um I decided I would scrapbook them right here so then moving on this was based on uh, one of Chamel's and these are photos of us in Shenandoah when we, where we went on our vacation. That was one of the stops we went to. So we did some hiking. We stopped at a rest stop and had lunch. Um, I got some of the paper issues May kit on here as well. Um, and then I used some, uh, Nuvo drops just to kind of add some extra things because I ran out of enamel dots and I, I did want to have like something to, you know, kind of spruce things up and, and build out a little bit of the embellishments. I did this one on my own, but using the Chamel Best of Both Worlds kit. Um, I plan on, this, this was taken in June, so I plan on journaling or something, maybe typing in very small print all the books that I've read from January to June, you know, up until that point. So that's why I titled it 2021 Books to Now. Um, there were a lot of like bookish things in the September kit, so I really wanted to utilize those. And I have this photo of me reading a book. So I thought that would be great. I did a little bit of page tearing. Thank you, Shamel, for getting me um, back into that. I cut out some of this Vicky Boot and Color Story vellum, the circles, um, and popped those in around different places. I love the little coffee mugs from the Jen Hadfield sticker. Um, I always put like tea in my in my mugs. I don't I don't make coffee at home. Yeah, here's another fun photo from the Chamel Best of Both Worlds kit. Um, live scrapping along with her. My daughter's teachers came to do a home visit at the beginning of the summer so that she could kind of rec get to recognize them before she started school. And they sent us a nice little, a nice little poem to go along with it. So I incorporated that on here. All right. Here's, and pardon the glare. Here's the June pocket page. Um, I did not use any of the, I did not use any of these. Although, like, I guess I could have, but see, I don't, <laughs> Okay, I know they're different brands, but this is what I'm talking about. Um, you're going to see, I'm going to have a process video coming up where I do one of these because um, I don't think it's up yet. But I'm, I wanted to like, I don't really like the way it fits. Is that weird to me? Like they're the, this is four by four and this is four by four, but it just doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't fit right. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I just have to get over it. But anyways, this, these are just photos of things we did in June. Um, my daughter fell asleep. I was doing a virtual author chat. Um, through our local library. And of course, my kid like can't be separated from me. Like I can't just do something for myself and have her play. So she was in bed with me like coloring and then eventually she fell asleep. I thought that was really funny. And then here's the May one. There's a process video for this one. Um, if it's not up yet, it's coming up very soon. I'm trying, I want to show you more of how I'm doing these um, because they are, it's something new for me. I'm doing, you know, one for every month using the Hello Today collection. So I wanted you to be able to see kind of what my process was in putting that all together. I have a, I have another one. I'm just gonna, um, kind of cover this up because I, for, you know, privacy, but, um, I love making these sort of like four piece clusters. And this, this is just using up like old pink fresh, old, um, authentic, a school collection. Again, old pink fresh, um, rec well, I can't reminisce. I think this was. So just using up some old stuff. My daughter got an award during her kindergarten camp at school. Um, very exciting. And I wanted to document that. And then this is another kind of doing the same sort of thing. It's a great way to use up scraps that you have as well as, um, just, I, I just like making the little clusters. I don't, it's not, it, there's no as well as. It's a great way to use up some scraps. So using up some Cardabella, some simple stories, some pink fresh, some photo play. We had like a foam party with some kids and um, there's a big foam machine called FOMO and it just makes like big mounds of foam. It's pretty cool. This is one that I did 
I don't know what I did it for, but I like the way it turned out, don't you? With the sequins, bright color sequins. I got a lot of the photo play flower stickers. Oh, you know what this is from? I think there's a process video coming up for this. Maybe? I don't know. Watch, stay tuned to the channel. You'll find out. You'll, we'll all find out together. This is another Chamel one. So we did a little bit of Frankensteining. She did more Frankensteining than I did. I didn't have the same papers that she did. Um, so I added some other things. To, and So this is like the bigger background piece. Or I think the yellow is the bigger background piece. And then I added like leftover bits of paper to create these. We went to Six Flags um, in the summer. It was the perfect day because it was cloudy and kind of rainy. Um, so we got to like walk on all the rides. It's the best day. Best kind of day, kind of day to go. This one you've probably seen a process video for. This was based on a um, Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches sketch, and I um, also did it for my Off the Board Making Chevrons Challenge. Here's a fun one that was also for a 30 Days of Sketches challenge. Um, I drew, I traced circles in the back here, and then just used paper strips and stickers um, and a, a few small embellishments, some splattering, and these are, we did a hike in Shenandoah, and this was our view. She climbed the big rock. Don't worry. She wasn't far. She wasn't going to fall. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I, I love that. I got to use up some old, um, who, who made this? Bella Boulevard? I don't know. But it was fun. Anyway, um, another Chamel one. So she did like a pocket page here and she had stuff sticking out of it for journaling. I, I kind of, you know, I did the same kind of design, but I wasn't making it an actual pocket for anything. Um, but these are photos. This is our, the beginning of our summer vacation. We went to Washington, D.C. and ate at a really great place called And Pizza. You can get vegan cheese on your pizza, uh, which is what I did because I can't eat dairy. But then I piled it with pepperoni and sausage. So I'm sure they were like, what? Uh, this one has a process video. It's coming up. This is a sneak peek if, it, if this video goes up before the 7th for the Challenge Yourself Challenge. This is another um, Chamel one. So we did some like stamping with um, some oxide inks and a stencil. I didn't have the stamp, so I was trying to do it with the sprays. Um, and I think it turned out okay. Well, actually, I was do I was like using a dauber with the spray. Um, and you should really clean your daubers. <laughs> like literally, all of my daubers were dirty. Um, so I didn't get the colors that I wanted, but I think it kind of still went okay. Um, this is another one that I did for the uh, 30 Days of Sketches, uh, just scrapbooking me doing the color challenge, the Disney Bound Pride color challenge back in June, and using some of the, my leftover Disney collection. Um, this was another 30 Days of Sketches, and um, I used circular photos. Oh, I got a little bit of a misting spray on that. That's okay. I used circular photos, the Paige Evans Wonder stuff, um, and some of the papers from the May Paper Issues Kit, and then some old baseball stuff, because we went to a baseball game on our vacation. Um, you've seen the process video for this one already, so I won't go too much into detail. Excuse me, Hershey Park was those pictures. I don't think you've seen this one yet. This I kind of made randomly. So I had a Bella Boulevard um, cut apart thing that I purchased and I backed it with um, a variety of different patterned papers. Um, I think this was actually using up some of the July Chamel kit. Um, but yeah, just a fun one of different photos of me doing, again, the Disney Color Bound Challenge. You've seen a process video for this one. This was the September Let's Get Sketchy sketch challenge that isn't actually happening, but there was still a sketch for it. Um, so yeah, there's a process video for that. You've seen a process video for this, the Scrap Room Freaky Fest Formula Challenge. I love the way this one turned out. Um, I don't think you've seen this one. Um, this was for a paper issues challenge. So they had a pop-up crop at the beginning of September. They have one at the beginning of every month. And the themes were decades. So this was my 50s inspired one. I did some stenciling. Um, I got some like cool triangles based on what was shown in the mood board. Um, this was my, I think my 70s paper issues pop-up crop challenge thing. Um, I made some tags behind it. Got a lot of circles from my um, stash. This was a, this is how we dressed for our, 
Um, Orange Color Challenge is part of Disney Pride. No, this was the 60s. This was the 60s. I did my own mixed media background, and this was the 70s. So um, for this one, I didn't really follow the mood board, but I had these photos of my daughter and I back from May when we did the Star Wars Disney Bound Challenge. We were, well, I dressed up as uh, C-3PO, and since Star Wars came out in 1977, the very first one did, um, I figured that would be perfect <laughs> for the 70s challenge. I used a quote from the movie as my title. This was a Chamel one. I think the very first Chamel one of September. So this is us celebrating National Donut Day. I think we actually celebrated a day early. We got it a little bit off, but whatever. Um, I had the photo ready to share on social media, and that's what's important. Um, and this is also a Chamel one. Um, I love this kind of, this thing, how the, the paper, the Vicky Booten paper, because kind of like popping out. I added some sequins from my stash. Um, I didn't have exactly the same types of products that she did. Uh, some of the enamel dots, she had like heart enamels. I just had enamel dots. Um, so I added my own sequins and some uh, Nouveau drops in black. Just my daughter playing at the playground. Got to always take pictures of that. You've seen a process video for this because this was the Mixed Media Frenzy for September. This, I think I did a scrap lift of a paper issue sketch. Um, so this was for one of their challenges. I kept it all like green. This could also have been for like a white with one challenge. Um, if you don't know about that challenge blog, go check them out on Facebook because it's really fun. Um, but yeah, I just kind of kept things all green because I was dressing up as Baby Yoda. And again, it did sort of the same kind of like creating li little individual clusters. And I really like the way that that looks. I like the way that it turns out. And then this one is for the day one, Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. So I didn't, there was supposed to be like stitching somewhere on it. I don't have a sewing machine, so I pretended like I stitched these triangles um, and then just added added these photos of us doing a 5K. I My daughter doesn't walk them. I push her in the jogging stroller because that's a lot easier for me. And then this one is a Chamel one. So she used smaller photos, I think. Um, I used bigger photos. The, the same basic layout of the papers is similar, but it's not, it's not this exactly the same. And she had a pattern paper. Um, I think it was a wood grain with like poke, so the colorful polka dots on it. I didn't have that paper. So I took the Vicky Booten vellum. I cut out all these circles and I like sort of made my own. I pretended like I had that same paper that she did. And this is just, these are screenshots. We video chat with my dad twice a week and, um, I just took some pictures of that. So that's all the layouts. Oh my goodness. You're like, do you, do you even have photos left to scrapbook? Yes, I do. I just got my July photos printed. So I'll still have August and September to scrapbook. I am not far behind, which is really good. And especially doing the, the monthly project life type pages, that gets a lot of photos done at once, which I like. And then um, I can't wait to start using the um, October kit, all the stuff that I bought for October. And I'll, I'll, I think next time if I make more cards, I will do a process video on that so you can kind of see um, how I do that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope September was a creative and productive month for you. Give this video a thumbs up like. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so you don't miss out on when process videos for some of this stuff go live. If you have subscribed already, thank you so much. It's great to have you here. I'm over 500 subscribers, which is so exciting. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.